Hi everyone, Piper and, Piper and Jay, Piper and John here. Little small, hey Cam, how are we guys? Little small crew tonight, only nine of us at this stage. Let's make sure we've got uh, our roller and our minivan. Can everyone hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Legend. All right, start with our mobility, Zach. Good to see you kicking things off, mate, well done. So make sure you've got a minivan, make sure you've got a drink bottle nearby. Mobility, we're going through our strength program tonight. If you're following along at home, at session A. So it's our body weight strength exercises. If you've got any uh, resistance you want to add, uh, if you've got you know, a, a, a dumbbell or, or kettlebell or something, if you're one of the older kids, I think it's probably only one or two in the 16s tonight. Some of you guys could start to add a little bit of resistance if you wanted to, be careful. Otherwise, we're into our mobility. So, about 10 centimetres back from our, mo uh, our roller here. I'm just going to gently bring my knee in. So, I'm keeping my foot flat on the ground, keeping my heel pressed to the ground. And knee forward here, yeah, probably five times each leg. Five times each leg, keeping that heel down as best as possible can. And then swap legs there. Left foot now. Same thing again, 10 centimeters back. If you're getting it, if you're hitting the uh, roller or you're using the couch or whatever you might be using, if you're hitting it too easily, let me you just move back a little bit further. Move your foot back a little bit further and challenge that range of motion a little bit. This ankle mobility, calf mobility can be really important for us guys. So keep, make sure you keep working on it. All right, roll her off to the side for a second. We've got our Spider-Man squat. So now that one goes, we bend at the hips, so we're touching our toes. We get a little hamstring stretch. Come down. All right, if I turn to the front now, bend your knees. If you can't get all the way down, you can't get your hands underneath your toes, and you need to bend your knees to get your hands under your toes, and then sort of pull yourself down into position using your, using your hands underneath your toes as a bit of leverage. Don't hurt your hands, obviously. You probably just need... The majority of your weight should be on the balls of your feet. Hopefully you're, you're able to keep your heels on the ground. That means you've got terrific hip mobility. I can't because I don't have great hip mobility. But I've still got the majority of my weight on my midfoot and the balls of my feet. All right. I'm just going to rock in this position a little bit. I might rock my weight, shift my weight from the left to the right foot. Just get comfortable being down and active in this low sort of squat position. I don't know about you guys, but if you've been sitting a lot today, you're studying from home, you've been on a laptop or whatever you've been on all day, this is a really good position just to stretch those hips out. Then I'm just going to push my elbows gently against the inside of either knee. So just a gentle, and I'm going to push my knees back against my elbows, just to, just to create a little bit of tension in my hips. Start to create some, some uh, warmth and some heat and some friction, and warm those joints up. Once we've done that, I'm going to keep my left hand underneath my left toes. I'm going to keep my left elbow pressing in on my left knee. And I'm just going to turn and rotate, looking up towards the roof with my right arm. Control your breathing here. So nice, big, deep breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Bring that hand back. Tuck it back under your right toes. And then we're going left side. We're switching up to our left. Come back, jump up, shake it out. It should have us nice and stretched out, nice and mobile for our hip. Good job, guys. Okay, so I'm, uh, so I grab your minivan. We're going to do our, uh, our our minivan circuit. Okay, so we've got our crab walk to start with. Ten to our, uh, we're doing sets of ten. So we're going five to our right, five to our left. So we're working on week three today as well, guys. Week three, so you can see there, there's a little bit of overload in some of the exercises. We're gonna try and push it out to three sets today. So get a little bit more volume in our session for our crab walk. I just go five to my right, bent knees, bent hips, five back to my left. I'll do that twice through. Have a quick breather in between. Arms nice and wide, get that upper body active, like a defensive slide. Bend your knees, breathe. 
stay down nice and low, mate. Okay, we don't want to see it standing straight up like this. That's not really doing much. Bend your knees to down. All right, we're going to do our jab set. So we're 10 on each leg. We're going to do our jab set. So we're jabbing out 45 with our right leg. Remember, you can simulate like you've got the basketball. If you've got a basketball and you want to use it, please do. Rip from hip to hip. Rip hip to hip. Cross your body as if you're about to take off your right. And on your right leg, push up off that back foot as well. So you get up into that nice, sprint take off position. Once we've done 10 to our right, we're doing 10 to our left. So working a little bit on footwork here as well. Jab left, jab left. Stay down nice and low. And then we've got our kick back. So we're working our glutes out a little bit now. So I'm kicking my right foot back, tightening through that right glute. Coming back, pushing back, using the resistance of the band. If you, if you prefer to for this one, you can wrap the band under your foot, if you would like to. So you can wrap it under your right foot, just to get a little bit more resistance, pushing that way and having to push back with that foot. That's one way you could change this up a little bit if you wanted to. <clears throat> Otherwise, keep it around your ankle. Oop, and just kick back. Now I've made mine all uneven. 10 on each leg. Then grab a drink. Good job, Cam. Uh, we've got, we, we need to hold on to our mini band. For the next two exercises, remember, I always bugger that up and tell you guys to put your mini bands away. <laughs> We're going to hold on to them, so we've got our squat. We've got three sets of eight for our squat. Three sets of eight. So we've got our resistance band should be up above our knees now. So chuck the band. You can see here on me, up above my knees. Okay, so it's really creating that tension for my glute knees. The whole point of that is we want to avoid this movement here. Knees knocking together. We don't want that. So my, my, my body's having to constantly train to keep my knees on train track first. They're not knocking together, okay? Three sets of eight squats. I'm gonna do the first set. Then you guys are gonna do the other two sets in your own time. I'm gonna come around and look at your form. Uh, here we go. The way I do mine, if you don't have any resistance and you wanna add some resistance is to go slowly down. So Trisha, you, you're going, that's well, not Trisha, it's Ashley, isn't it? Ashley, you're going super quick. Ashley, you're going real fast. Go slowly down, make sure you keep your knees apart. Three, two, one, down, float up. Three, two, one, down, float up. Three, two, one, down, float up, okay? So slow eccentric, that's what we call the eccentric, where our muscles are lengthening. I'm going down nice and slowly. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Make sure you have a break in between sets. Remember, it's three sets of eight, not one set of 24. Okay, so the, usually the program would be 45 seconds rest. We're just going to go 30. That's good, Matty Polgway. It's really good. Slow eccentric, mate. Well done. Good, Jack. Making sure we keep our heels on the ground too. It can be real difficult. Don't go too deep so the heels come off the ground. Let's go, let's go with that second or third set you guys are working through now. Good job, Reed. Good job, Cam Reed. Well done. Good job, guys. Good job, Ashy. Uh, oh, we've got the puff in the way. Here we go. What else have we got today? Kobe, Kobe and Kate. How you going, boys? Uh, keep going, guys. So we've got three sets of this. Oh, good. We had a couple of late comers. We got up to 12. Good. Good job, guys. Keep working. I'm going to do that third set. What is that, Zach? We're not going hands to the ground, mate. Come on. Drop a squat. Atta boy. Get your bum back, don't just rock to the floor. All right, so 
We're not just dropping our weight all the way down. You guys are blessed with some terrific mobility here. Let's make sure we strengthen through that range of motion, not just exploit the range of motion. So what I mean by that is don't just drop into a squat. All right? We need to become really good at controlling that squat movement and making sure we maintain neutral spine throughout. Okay, and what I mean by that is a nice straight back, controlling our breathing. So that when we do have to put ourselves in positions of doing it quickly, we practice. Good work, guys. Then we're going to come to the ground and we've got our uh, glute bridges. We're keeping our band around our knees. Our band stays around our knees. We've got three sets of 10. This is always interesting with Luna in the room. She's got a ball, so she might be distracted today. Maybe. Chewing the heck out of it. All right, so glute bridges. I'll see you guys can see me. I'll move up a little. So this one's really important. We talked about it. If you did my uh, body and mind session on Friday morning, too, about neutral spine. So what that means is a nice, flat, neutral spine, nice, flat back. Okay, so it's a really good, solid core position to start any athletic movement from. So it's flat back, straight back position. So you're imagining like there's a grate under your lower back and you want to put enough pressure on the grate to feel the pressure of the grate, but you don't want to squish the grate. Okay, we also don't want to arch too much so there's too much space between our lower back and the ground so we can't feel the grate at all. So it's a real fine balance. In a perfect world, you find that position before you come up into a glute, glute bridge. Remember our feet, our heels, are close to our bum, close enough that I can twist to my side and touch the back of my heel. Twist to the side and rotate and touch the back of my heel. We're doing three sets of 10, okay? I'm gonna do a couple of sets and come and look at your last set. Here we go, so again, explosive up, slow on the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bit harder with a cap on. Squeeze oh. up. Push hips all the way to the roof. Squeeze your bum muscles. Another really, really good movement we need to work on. Activate these muscles and strengthen these muscles before we start physical activity. Good job, guys. work. Pushing our hips all the way up to the roof. You can come to a nice little isometric hold if you feel like it as well. Chase family looks like you've got a puppy dog helping out as well. Reed, you've got old Goldie. Have a look at it. What a ripper. Good job, guys. So if we're onto our second, third set, just have 30 seconds rest in between. What sort of dog's that, Ashy? You there? You're frozen. Oops. That's it, guys. Third set now. Keep working. Ashley, you froze. Sorry. Try to unmute yourself. And you froze. I apologize. Ah, German short haired pointer. Awesome. Great job. You're typing it up, but you're frozen. Uh, here we go, glute bridges, second and third set, 30 seconds in between, then you can get rid of that band for now. Chuck that away. We're into our push up. Push up's a bit weird, but Chase isn't in here tonight, Zach. You and Chase usually have a race to see who can do the push up the quickest. <laughs> it's not a race at all, but you turn it into a race. So, push ups now. We're going for three sets, guys. So, I really want you to start challenging yourself with this. We're doing as many reps as possible. And I know in the past we've made it a little bit competitive. Let's try and get 60 or let's try and get however many. I, I want more perfect push-ups than I want actual, like I don't I want to see anyone really getting 60, 70, 80. I'd prefer to see 10 perfect ones, all right? So Chase boys, I'm looking at you. All right, up on your toes, making sure they're nice and strict. If you're on your knees, that's fine. Give, give a couple of go on your toes. And then you can always come back down to your knees. Let's go for, let's go for three sets, as many as we possibly can. <clears throat> All right, so again, if you're on your knees, 
You can be all fours. I don't think anyone's really at this stage anymore where we're all fours with our hip above our knees, okay? Okay, but if you are doing it this way, this is nice and easy. We're just bringing our nose to the ground. If you've got your knees out from under your hips, so you've got your knees out from under your hips, that's a little bit harder, a little bit more of our body weight. And then our last stage is up on our toes. All right, let's try and get, I'm gonna try and go for, for 15 perfect ones. So again, remembering, the motion of our arms is elbows stay in pretty tight to our body and our fingertips are pointing up. Okay, so the fingertips are pointing the same way the top of our head is pointing. Don't have your fingers, your fingers are pointing to each other. That's a pretty good indication your elbows are going to be going out too wide. Make sure you have a break after each set. One, two, Job. So three sets. Make sure you have 30 seconds at least in between. Good job, Jack. That's good, mate. Keep that. Uh, keep those knees locked in. Zach, get those hands under your shoulders, mate. You're in some sort of a, a plank. You need to get your hands hands directly under your shoulders. Luke, if you're there, can you give him a hand with that? Dad, there, Zach. Two, three, one. <laughs> hands under your shoulders. So what I mean by that is when you side on, hands are coming straight out. We don't want hands forward like this. Okay, you don't want your, you want, don't want your hands further forward than your head is. Your hands need to be, at the very worst, directly underneath your face. That's better. No, now you push back, you slid back. Now you slide back. <laughs> Bring your toes up, get those, that's it. Good job, guys. Keep working here. Push yourself a little bit. If you've got 10 last time, go for 11. If you've got 12, go for 13. Good job, Matty. Good work, mate. Push-ups are always a really good one to challenge ourselves, guys. We should be doing the same with every exercise. We always say, oh, who can do the most push-ups? Who can do 20? Who can do 25? Well, how many squats can you do? All right. At some point, we're going to mix things up. We're going to do we're going to do as many reps as we can of squat. Make sure we're strengthening our lower body as much as we are our upper body. Good job, guys. Last set of push-ups. Those that are waiting, grab a drink, and we're into our lunges or our split squats. Split squat, we're into three sets of eight. Three sets of eight. And I've got a message there. A hundred. <laughs> Radio is that. It's got a hundred that. But they were I don't know what sort of push ups they were, mate. They were some sort of some sort of version of push ups I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get a bit more depth. I appreciate your uh I appreciate you you're punning up there and getting 100, but we've got to make sure we're, we're doing them properly as well, okay? I maybe count 50 of them. Maybe. Maybe. That's all right, though. Okay, split squat. So we're into a lunge, guys. We know how to start this one. We get down into a bit of a hip flexor stretch. I like to always start it from, from the ground up. Remember, if you like, you can use something as a bit of a guide for where the right position for you is. So if you've got a cone or you've got a mat or something you'd like to put down, you need to touch your knee to each time you can. All right, otherwise I'm starting with my right leg forward. I don't mind if you've got a little bit of forward chin, chin angle. Okay, I don't mind if you come forward and your knees go a little bit over your toes, but I do not want to see, I don't want to feel that heel back in line with your, with your other knee when it touches the ground like this. That's too cramped, okay? Reed, that was like the position you were getting into last week, okay? So just slide your foot forward just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a huge gap between the back of your front heel and your back knee. And then we're pushing up, all right? Down and up. If you want to add a bit of challenge to this, if you've got resistance, you want to add a, 
holding a dumbbell or, or, or a kettlebell or something. Alternatively, another way you can add resistance to this or make it a little bit tougher on our core and actually make it a little bit more basketball specific is just go arms overhead. Arms overhead the whole time. Okay, we're going to move through that range of motion with arms up overhead. Okay, same for squat. We can add, uh, add arms up overhead. So we're doing eight on either leg. Making sure we're on that back, the ball of our back foot. Eight, and then swap it over. Start from the ground up again. You've got arms up overhead, get comfortable in this position. Pushing off. Make sure you squeeze that back glute. Okay, so I've got my right leg back here. It's a really good opportunity for glute activation in that back leg. As much as we're mostly working this front quad, that back glute can get a really good workout as well. Resets again, guys. Make sure you have 30 seconds in between. Do we got a kettlebell? Uh, what do we got there? Medicine ball. I like it. Zach, what are you going with? Two basketballs or two medicine balls? That's impressive. Good, Jack. Just make sure that front heel doesn't come off the ground. That's pretty good, that. That's fine. You're, you're okay there. Yep. Just try and make it a little bit more about dropping that back knee straight down as opposed to shifting your weight forward. Yeah, so come down to that bottom position again, Zach, right from there. Yep, now stop. Look how, you, look how your back knee is nearly touching the back of your heel. That's not what we want. So look, yeah, that's what we want. We want a little bit of separation. That's the one there, and straight up from there. Good, mate. That's it, perfect. Good, lad. Good, Matty Pole guys, that's perfect, mate. You got a med ball there, chuck it up overhead. You just have a bit of a challenge. I know you're tough as nails. Good job. Good work, mate. Good job, guys. Good job. Ashy, Ashy, you're smashing to it tonight. Every time I see you, you're having a break. Can't keep up with you. Well done. Now we go for Piper tonight. Chase family. Piper's just chilling. Or is she doing it behind the couch? I couldn't see her. All right, so we have three sets, guys. It'll take a little while because we've got eight on each leg. So take your time, no rush. Make sure we do these right. As I was saying to Jack, that a lot of you are doing, don't rush it, Ashy. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. It's not a race. Remember, low on the way down, explosive on the way up. That's perfect form, though. So like I was saying to Jack, not the only one. We fall into this trap here. And again, this is where the camera can be really beneficial. All right? This is where it's a, it's a blessing in disguise sometimes, these zooms, is it can give you instant feedback on your form. So we do not want that heel. We want to be able to see plenty of daylight between that front heel and that back knee. So right here, I'm too cramped in that lunge. Not enough space. I need to slide that foot and, and, and let me see some daylight here between here. All right. That's good work. I know I'll make it a bit harder. That's probably too far now, Jack. <laughs> I've overcorrected you, mate. Well done. <laughs> that's, yeah, you can slide that. Yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, yeah, good job. Good job, mate. All right, so we're into our, uh, we're into our plank now. Into our plank. So today is 90 seconds. I know, uh, I know a minute and a half is, sorry, a minute. A minute was pretty tough last week. We're going to try for a minute and a half. We're going to try for two sets. 90 seconds, okay? Start on your toes. If you need to come down to your nose, uh, no. if you need to come down to your knees, come down to your knees, okay? 90 seconds. All right, let's get into position for our plank. And we finish off with our calf raises. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm going to do the first one with you, and then I'm going to come watch the second one. Here we go. We're going to go in three two, one, and come up into a plank. 90 seconds, I'll let you know at each 30 second interval. Again, no bums up in the air. If you feel yourself fatiguing, come down to your knees. That's okay, but keep the form good. Corner. 
Uh, here we go, guys. We're nearly at 30 seconds. Stay strong. Squeezy glutes can help you hold that position strong as well. That's 30 seconds. Control your breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Forty five, we're halfway there. Whoa. Halfway there. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> There's a minute, thirty seconds. If you're still holding on, if not, have a rest, come back up. Keep a track of your rest. If you've needed to have a break, that's okay. Keep a track of it and the next time try and have one less break or try and break for less time. 15 seconds to go. And. Three, two, one, and come down. Good job, guys. Great work, we've got one to go. Have a rest, shake it out. One to go and then we'll quickly do a warm down. Really good session. I know, sorry, we've got calf raises. What am I talking about? One to go, we'll finish off the calf raises. Really important. Okay. Ready to come back down into position? Here we go. Back down into position. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, Chase Family. Quick. There we go. Good job. Good, Jack. Get those elbows up right down to your shoulders, mate. It'll make it easier. Good job. Good job, Sam. Well done. Good, Ashley. That's okay. Good job. Keep working. Come back up. That's 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Keep working. Good job, Jack. Hold strong. Good job, Maddie Polgrave. Good can. Come back up. That's 45. So we're halfway there. Keep your bum down, Zach. Good. Chase so family goes straight on with the camera, so I couldn't tell if you were even actually doing plank. You could just be lying on the ground. I wouldn't be able to tell. That's a minute, guys. Let's go. Keep working. Hold strong. Control your breathing. If you need to come down to your knees, come down for a breather and then come back up. Keep the form good. The form's always the most important. Good job, Reid. Here we go. We've got 10 seconds. Hold strong. Control your breathing. Push yourself here. Good job, Jack. Five seconds. Three, two, and come down. Good job. Well done, guys. Excellent. That's not easy. Minute and a half. Really good. Matty Polgrave is down there. He's reading the book. Well done. All right, calf raises. Two sets of 25. Finish off. Calf raise. Really important. If you want to do single leg, that's okay. If you want to do single leg, I'm going to do double leg for both sets. Okay, so 25 for building some muscular endurance. If you need something to balance, put a hand on the wall, put a hand on a bench or something. Otherwise, just doing, just doing straight up 25. Okay, here we go. 25, calf raises right up on your toes, down. Two, three. Remember to come slowly down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, guys. 10, 14, 15. 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 25. Good job. 30 seconds rest and we've got our second set. Good job, guys. If you want to do on, on single leg, you can. Up to you. <clears throat> Nearly done. Then we'll do a quick foam roll, quick stretch, and we're done. Don't forget we've got Hoops Fit tomorrow morning with, uh, with Cassie. I always nearly say Abby every time. Cassie tomorrow morning, Cassie Brewer. So that's at 8 a.m. You can get up and do that one before school. Let's go to our second set of car phrases. Well, what are you doing, Lena? 
We got a second set of cow phrases, 25. One, two, three, four. Well done, guys. Finish off strong. You already done yours, Aki. Are you just chilling? Already done. What about you, Zach? You probably just did one set of 50. All right, guys. Good job. Good, Jack. They're really good car phrases, mate. <clears throat> Down onto our foam roller now. Let's quickly foam roll our glutes. I've done a bit of work on our glutes today. You guys know the drill. Oop. <laughs> you know, have school tomorrow. Congratulations, mate. Hold well on. Very good. Oh, that's right. They're giving you guys one day off a week. Now, aren't they? Sometimes Wednesday. So, right glute. So, I've got my right ankle up behind my left knee. And I'm just coming back and forth. Oh, right on that hip joint. Get into that, that area there. Remember, with foam rolling, the key is to not just go through the motion. If you find a tight spot, hold that position there. Deep breathe through that position. Move around a little bit in that position. There's nowhere really in your body, no soft tissue. So I'm on my left leg now, left ankle up on my right knee. There's no position really, soft tissue or muscle or anything in your body that you foam roll that shouldn't hurt. Uh, sorry, that should hurt. If it hurts, it means you need to foam roll it more regularly. Okay, if you've got tightness and you've got pain foam rolling, that's a good indication. Needs a little bit more attention. Okay, ITBs down the side of our thigh there, from hip to knee. Then we decided to take the cover off the tennis ball. That's been her activity for the season. Back and forth, up that nice tendon on the side of our leg there. Five rolls on each side, and then we're going to do our carbs to finish off. And finish with our carbs, guys. If you've got a jet, if you've got to get going, get going. If you've got dinner, Great job tonight, guys. Really good session. Who's fit tomorrow? You got me again if you want to do a session again on Thursday evening. Again, we mix that session up a little bit. So we actually do a little bit of conditioning in that session. We get, a little, get our heart rate up a little bit with some reactive stuff. Some defensive slides and uh, more body weight, high intensity stuff. And then uh, Friday morning, again, body and mind. I'll do my best. Pilates instructor impersonation and Friday night you with Lockie Barker. Big Lockie Barker running a train with me session all the way from Tassie. So you guys might get to see some cows or some goats in the background of Lockie's session. He's a farm boy. So he's back at his home farm. Still still got a basketball, still got a still part of the Blues family doing sessions. So great job tonight guys. If you've got to do any stretches, remember to do your calves, do your quads quickly. Well done. See you Thanks, guys uh, Thursday. You're welcome. See you guys this Thursday or Friday Thanks. morning whenever I see you next. Thank you, Jared. Bye. You're right, I'll see you. Thank you. See ya. See you later. See you guys.